Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And today I am going to be giving you a flip through of these beautiful collage mini journals. And there are 10 in total. They're already posted up over in the Etsy shop. And um, they're basically all made the same, but they will have just a little bit of a different look. So I'm going to walk through uh, one of these and then I'll also show you the covers of each one of these. So let me just move these out of the way so that you can actually see and, and I'll also give you the number of each one. All right, so yeah. let me put that over this side. All right, you know it's a delicate ecosystem going on on this desk. <laughs> So this is actually a number seven and I love how these turn out and the dimensions on these are uh, four and let me, let me make sure I give you the right dimensions on this. <laughs> the dimension is uh, four by five inches and it has a, an elastic closure here. I did a ton of sewing on these. So let me just bring this down so that you can see. So again, this is number seven and you can see the lovely game board or game piece charms that I made here. And you can actually remove this if you wanted to. And the way that I made these, you can actually put them out the way and then your journal will actually lay flat, which is very nice. And also the cover has a reinforced fabric spine. And I know it's hard for you to see, but there is just a ton of sewing on here on the spine and also on the covers. And these are not copies of collages. These are actual collaging that I did on these. And I made sure to strategically sew each piece. And it's also been varnished as well so that the pieces will withstand any wear and tear that you put on these books. Um, and I put vintage buttons on each one as well. And these are all held on by a, an eyelet and another button on the inside so you can see what it looks like here on the inside sorry if i'm kind of moving a little bit haphazardly here so you can see the book actually lays down flat and i put like some little sayings um, on the pockets themselves and in each pocket it will have um, some tags actually when i pack it it will not have the tags in it but I put tags on here and the tags will be a, a little bit different for each one. And I always like to put a little piece of vellum in the front of the book because you know I always say it adds class to the book. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through some of these pages. Some of them are new. Some of them are from artwork that I did. And you can see here some are cardstock. Uh, some of them are vintage page pages as well. And I put some tabs on a few of the pages, but I'm also going to uh, add some extra tabs with this as well. So we have some encyclopedia pages. We have some calendar pages in here, just all kinds of uh, interesting pages that you can use throughout the book. And you can, I wanted to pick lots of pages that you would be able to actually um, use as background. So I wanted them to be nice and interesting and yet you would still have um, plenty of journaling opportunities in your book as well. So if you're going to be using this as a journal, then you could do that. I also wanted to add um, some sturdy pages in here so that if you wanted to do some art journaling, you could actually use this as an art journal too. Now, because the pages are uh, nice and interesting, you will be able to tear the pages out and use them for something else if you wanted to. So, like if you saw this page and you wanted to use it in a collage, although this is so beautiful, I would definitely use it as a background. But if you wanted to use it as a collage, you could take those pages out and you could do so with that. So, like I said, I just use... Uh, a really wide variety of different types of pages 
in each one so it would just be a lot of fun and inspiring and just you know a joy to use because I know for me <laughs> that is definitely uh, the motivating factor for me actually picking my book up and using it is having lots of interesting pages as well now also on the tabs that are on the side of the pages I also put some eyelets on those tabs so if you wanted to hang some things off the side of your book you could you could actually take um, pieces off of your game book charm and you can hang them off the side of the book if you wanted to so I actually added uh, quite a few extra pieces to this so you kind of have everything that you need to really start doing some junk journaling and I put a pocket in the back as well and like I said all the books are um, pretty much made the same the covers and the insides are definitely different so let me just show you what else do you're going to get with this book and of course you can go over to uh, the Etsy store the link will be in the description or you can go over to the Etsy store and you can see um, even more information about these books so what you're going to get is a nice big full bag of extras to go with this book because like I said I wanted it to be something where you would actually have lots of pieces where you can like really get started and get going so I put some uh, vintage buttons in here and then I put several pieces of ephemera now when you get your book some things may look different depending on the availability of these pieces but um, I did want to just make sure I put lots of ephemera inside of the book um, just to get you um, going I really wanted to add value to this junk journal as well and just help you to be inspired and, and help you to want to really want to uh, use the book and here is um, some additional pages that you can use throughout the book and again you can use these for collages you can cut them up and just put them on the page I put some extra cardstock in here as well and just a lot of fun things that you'll be able to use and then I wanted to also add some fabric so I always love fabric so I had these swatches so I had uh, plenty of swatches that I can uh, share with you so I put a few swatches in here and these are all held together by a ball pin you'll see right here and then we have um, some lace as well so I put some lace and some vintage trim so you'll see plenty of that that you can work with you it probably would take you a very long time to use all of that um, while you are actually working in this journal and I wanted to in addition to all of that um, just in case you wanted to have uh, some more tabs I'm going to add some more uh, micro tabs here for you to be able to use uh, I'm also going to put in some interesting uh, paper clips as well so these are not ordinary paper clips and also some more ball pins that you'll be able to use so these are all going to be included in the books So I'm going to show you um, some of the covers here. This one is number nine and here is the charm itself and I'm going to try to not be moving things around too much so that you can see and this is number nine again and you'll see again it has just a ton of sewing on the cover itself. And then the inside, basically the pages are basically the same. So I'll just show you the front where the pockets are. And then the back pocket right here. So these were actually inspired by another YouTuber. And I really, really uh, love the way that they were made. And of course, I put my own spin on these. So you can see the charm on this one. And this one is number eight. 
let's just move everything out the way so you can see the cover and this is kind of a bluish gray background I love the way this came out and I made the the actual spine I reinforced it with some vintage um, fabric and I also have fabric all throughout the front and the back of the covers as well and y'all know I love using little pieces of fabric everywhere that I can so that's what I did with these and here's another one and this one kind of has like a purplish scheme this is number six and y'all I love these charms and I was able to even put like some of the metal pieces on the charms um, from some Monopoly games, which is kind of cool. So this is what this cover looks like You can see all the beautiful sewing on here and it just feels so creamy and yummy um, These actual covers And you can see these sewing on this one. So each one of the covers has lots of sewing on it And here's the inside with the pocket and let's just show you the back and you'll see again it has the tabs with the eyelets. All right. And so, again, not only did I put like the buttons on the front, I also put the but, uh, some buttons in the pack of ephemera that you'll get with these. And they came out just absolutely wonderful. This one is number two. And it kind of has like a gold background to it. And I just love all the sewing. I had so much fun making these. And if you want to see how I make these, you can head over to the Patreon channel. It's over at patreon.com slash Liz for a day. And so let's go to the next one. And this one is number four. You'll see the lovely charms here. And let's just take this loose so you can see how the front looks. And then also the back and everything is removable except for the uh, signatures, of course. The signature is sewn in, but even after you finish it, you can actually take the signature out and you can replace it with some other papers as well. But I know personally, I probably would just leave them in. All right. And then here's our next one. It kind of has like a purplish background. And also the way I have the listing set up is uh, if you want to change the letter of the Scrabble piece, if I have the pieces that I will actually switch those out for you so you can make that request. This is number one. And that way... Um, it can be personalized for you, or you can give it as a gift as well. And here's the back of this one. And again, this one is number one. And that's how the inside cover looks. Isn't that beautiful? I love that deep purplish background with that gold. It's just absolutely fantabulous. If you saw these in person, um, they would you would get really get the vibrance of the colors in these. Okay, this one is a number five, and here is the charms. And of course, this string is just holding on the uh, number here, but I just didn't want to get them mixed up, so I put the numbers there. So it has some nice pieces, and here's what the front of this one looks like. And again, I use some vintage cloth on the sides or on the spine. Look at all that sewing. It's so wonderful. And in the inside, I really left wanted to leave that sewing exposed on the back covers or the inside covers as well because I really thought it was just absolutely beautiful. Okay. And then this one has a very, uh, very kind of um, map-esque map kind of background color blue. This is number 10. And you can see the charms here. They're so beautiful. 
And of course it has all that beautiful sewing. I also sewed around the perimeters of each one. So that's going to prevent any fraying. And here's a pocket mission. And you can see the tabs have those eyelets in it. And the back with lots of exposed stitching. The exposed stitching, it kind of reminds me of, you know, how when you go into or you've seen on TV these big penthouses that have uh, these beautiful exposed beams. That's kind of the look I wanted these to have because they were very vintagey. This is number three, and you can see here the charm. I just like playing with the charms. <laughs> and they're very secure, and they're not going to come apart. And this is what the cover looks like. I love, love, love this cover. It's very vintagey. And of course, just like with all of the journals I make, I was like, oh, I might want to keep one of these for myself. <laughs> and that's the inside of that one and the inside of this one here. So that is all 10. And they are all up in the Etsy shop already. So again, this is number three. So a little bit out of order here, but there's 10 of them. This is number one. And oh, let's see, this one is number six. And then we have number eight. And here is number 10. And this one's number five. And we have number four. And number two and number nine Ooh, almost don't have anywhere to put all of these <laughs> and number seven okay and then of course it's going to have the big pack of ephemera again the ephemera has paper it has fabric some lace it also has some bindings we have some mini tabs, paper clips, you name it, ball pins, all kinds of goodies to actually go with this actual pack because I wanted uh, you to be able just to be inspired and just to have a lot, a lot of fun with these. So again, these are up in the Etsy shop and if you have any questions for me, you know where I'm at and you can also request the, the Scrabble letter as well to, for personalization within the listing itself. So thanks everybody, um, have fun, and I will talk to you later. With that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.